Welcome to the Tony Gaskin Show, best-selling author, celebrity life coach, and international speaker. The purpose of this show is to bring you motivation, inspiration, and education in the areas of life, love, and business. Thank you for joining me. Now let's get started. Hey, hey, Tony Gaskins here. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Talks with Tony. Now, today I want to talk to you on a topic that just came up. I was talking to my producer, but it's been on my heart. And we were looking at my shoes that looks like some female shoes, the color scheme. It is purple with this blue. I don't know what this blue color is. Maybe it's turquoise. Now, purple and turquoise in the history of mankind has never been a combination of colors for a man. And when I first saw them, I was like, Lord, what am I going to do with these? And But I've been wearing them. And every time I wear them, I get a little more comfortable in them. So that means that I'm having to tap into my feminine side of my mind to be comfortable in these shoes. Now, I'm wearing them. They're a gift. They're probably in the store $230. And one of my MBA mentees, which means somebody I mentor, um, sent them to me, sent my whole family a bunch of Nike, and he always takes care of us. And um, it has a matching shirt with it, and he sent me some sweatpants and the, the sweat suit jacket. Um, nice outfit. And... Um, I'm wearing this, and it made me really think about now, even when you look at men who are seen to be or you think are masculine, and you look at football players and basketball players, you know, these athletes, and you're like, you know, this is a masculine sport. These guys are your your macho men. But even now, in those arenas, And across the board, we're starting to see men be emasculated, if that's the word. And so what's happening is, and it's spiritual, you know, it's spiritual. So a lot of the designers, I I remember starting to wear these clothes. And so now the clothes are where they're so tight. Like when you go into a high fashion store or a store that's like trendy or on the latest trends, let's say like a Nordstrom, um, the the pants for men are tight. Like they really hug my thigh. They really hug my thigh. And I'm like, man, and they hug my butt. And when I'm putting them on, I'm like, whoa, I'm feeling like a Instagram model. You know, it's like, I could feel it tight on my butt, tight on my thighs. I'm like, my goodness. Like, I just don't remember jeans fitting like this for men. And my wife, she said, I got thick girl problems in time, put on some jeans. And I'm, but I'm like, no, these just are made different. And so now we're seeing, you know, I was with a, another one of my NBA clients and, he had on the, it was like capris. And so they were slim fitting and they were capris. And I was like, man, you know, I got to get me some of those now because I'm I'm here in person with you and you got these on. So I got to get me some. And, but then I thought about it. I'm like, I don't know, you know, tight. If, Cause see, he's really slim. So it was different. Me, you know, I'm built a little different, like a running back, you know, like a hundred, 100-meter sprinter, so I got, you know, I'm built a little different, thighs thicker. So I'm like, me with a man with a butt and thighs in some capris, uh, don't know. So I'm starting to think about this thing, and, and what I'm noticing is that all of the clothes for men are becoming more and more feminine. And now a lot of the designers behind the clothes are also feminine men. 
like who are outwardly feminine, like in real life, like they identify more with the female and they may also, you know, choose to date men or even dress like a, you know, a woman more. So a lot of the designers are outwardly uh, feminine. And so they are being put in position to design the clothes. And now men who may relate more to the male and feel more masculine than feminine are being forced these clothes. And and initially you're like, no, that's not going to work. But then you're told, no, this is high fashion. Like this is real fashion. And and now you put them on. I remember when when working with the NBA team, I'm going to the games, I'm in the locker room and stuff, you know, and they would have on these tight jeans and, and I would be messing with them about it. And they were like, man, Tony, man, baggy jeans is not in style anymore, man. Jeans with, with that's loose is not in style anymore, man. That's 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 dead. That's done. This how jeans fit. And I'm like, bro, like them jeans so tight, somebody could see the vein in your testicle. Like, what is you talking about? Like, when did this become, you know, normal? And so, and what I notice is this is spiritual. It's a transfer of this energy. So it's spiritual. So if this person, this designer is operating from a certain spirit, he creating clothes that represent his spirit and where he is in his life. And now he he dresses a million men in these clothes. These men start to take on that same spirit and become more feminine. But operating from that spirit makes these men also uh, a little more confused, a little more promiscuous, a little more daring, a little more risk-taking. Because now they're tapping into another side. And, and, and clothes, think about clothes now. When you put clothes on, clothes make you feel a certain way. Clothes make you feel a certain way now. And think about it. Think about it. If I put something on that's a little risque, it's a little tight in them thighs, I'm feeling a certain way. And it's hard to describe this feeling. Uh, I, I feel vulnerable. I feel nasty. Feel freaky. Feel loose. I just feel different. It's almost like you dressing in drag because it's not for you as a man. And now you still meet men who they wear Levi's. So it's, uh, you know, or they wear the type of pants that still got some looseness in them. Hey, guess what? I would like to connect with you in a more personal way. Have you ever thought about having a life coach? Have you ever felt like you needed to be around like-minded people? Are you trying to grow and learn more and push yourself to the next level? If that is you, then my new group is for you. Now, in this group, I have over 10 courses online that you can go through at your own pace. You can log out and log in as many times as you like. Inside of the system, you can also send me personal messages that I will personally respond to. We also have monthly power calls. Depending on your level of membership, you have access to the live call where I will share an on-time message and open the line for Q&A. In those same membership levels, you have access to the private Facebook group where you can connect and build with like-minded people to support one another. You also receive one to two free tickets to the annual conference. So look, I created this for you to remove all excuses. You have no excuse now to remain the same. So visit GaskinsUniversity.com. GaskinsUniversity.com and join the group. I look forward to working with you and we will see you at the top. So you still so you know it's men who still are dressing 100% what they 
consider masculine. And now you teeter-tottering and you going to the other side. And I'm telling you, y'all are not thinking about this. Y'all like, Tony, okay, Tony, let me bump this head. No, you ain't, because you know I ain't crazy. Because I'm very simple. And, and just common sense, wisdom. And this is what's happening. So I'm talking to you men, and I want you to, who, who dressing like this, and I'm also talking to you ladies, who you dressing your man. And because my wife, she high fashion, she in the fashion, so whatever is trending, she she totally cool with it. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, and well, it ain't even too, it ain't too soon. Because I seen Russell Westbrook with a shirt on with his breast dot. And I'm like, he had a shirt on that was cut right across the chest and the stomach. I was just about to say, you're going to have men wearing shirts here before long with their back out, with the middle of their back out. You know how women have those shirts? You're going to have men wearing shirts with their back out. And then I thought about it. I say, not before long because Russell Westbrook already dressed like that. So, But he high fashion. He is as fashion forward as it's going to get. And and if you, uh, if they block his, his, uh, head off from the neck up they cut it off some of his outfits you'll think it's a strong female and you know same with my boy d wade now that's my boy me and d wade you know we cool that's my boy but d wade he done put on some outfits to where if you did not see his head you would thought of gabrielle union and they had on the same outfit a couple times but i'm telling you I, for you fellas dressing like this i want you to evaluate it you real freaky, ain't you? You nasty behind closed doors. Think about it. Think about it. Think about what I'm telling you. This spiritual. So I'm saying this too to you mothers and fathers raising boys. Be careful what trends you let them follow. I see high schoolers. My son was telling me about the high school boys at the Christian school. This is a Christian school. You Y'all put y'all children in a Christian school, and these boys got tattoos in high school. You cannot get a tattoo under the age of 18 without parental consent. What are you doing? Letting your child get a tattoo. Let him do that when he grown out your house, but don't you as a parent go condoning tattoo. That's spiritual too. That's spiritual. Putting that permanent ink on your body is spiritual. I got five or six tattoos. I'm here to tell you. You listening, got tattooed. That's spiritual. You in a certain mindset. You in a certain mindset. You in a certain place in your life when you go to getting tattoos. You either trying to fit in, trying to look cool, or you you daring, you know, you adventurous. That's spiritual. You in a certain place. So think about the way the media, and not the media, but also the, the clothing industry and the trends that we have in our world, I want you to start evaluating the root. Evaluate the root spirit of this manifestation, whatever it is, in, our, in your television shows, in your music, in your clothes, in the tattoos, in these nose rings. Now women getting the nose rings. And ladies, I'm going to tell y'all, the nose ring look like you got a booger in your nose. And I I don't know. And this been around from, from the time, from the beginning of the time now. And it might have meant you was either a slave at one point. In in the kingdoms, it probably was fashion. It was jewelry. I done seen the old school movies where the man had a, the thing on their nose and it got the gold chains and it connect to the ear. Um, But ladies, I want to tell you about these nose rings. It, it, it you know, you can do what you want to do. I know it's trendy. I know, you know, you think you high fashion, looking good. It look a mess. It look a mess. And I'm going to just, I just, your brother from another mother. Don't nobody want to tell you. And start thinking about this. Everything that we're doing, the breast augmentation, the butt job, the lip jobs, the chin job, the nose jobs, the arm jobs, the ab jobs. We're doing all of this stuff 
Evaluate the root spirit. Where are you operating from? Is it insecurity? Is it immaturity? Are you being a follower? Are you chasing trends? And how does it make you feel? Do you you feeling sexier? You feeling more adventurous? You feeling freakier? You feeling promiscuous? You got a wandering eye now? How does it make you feel? So evaluate the root and evaluate the fruit. And if you have children, my son had a mohawk. That was a trend. You know what I just learned yesterday at the zoo? Then I thought about it and didn't say it out loud. The it, we was looking at some hogs, some I think some warthogs, like us on Lion King, uh, Timon and Pumbaa, and we were looking at the warthogs, and they had a mohawk down their head and down their back, and my wife read that the mohawk only comes during mating season. And there was one of them, I'm guessing it was a female because she looked a little softer on her features. She would land down sleep. And then the male warthog came up sniffing on her booty. And he just sniffing around, sniffing around, lifting it up with his nose, sniffing, rubbing his booty on hers, rubbing his side on hers. I'm like the the I'm like the woman trying to sleep, man. What are you doing? Like the woman sleeping, he gonna rub his booty all alongside of her, all down the side of her, rub his booty down her, and just sniff, sniff, sniff. She wouldn't wake up. She just kind of lick her lips. She just like, mm, mm, mm. and she kept her eyes closed. And she might was fake sleeping because he because she know it's mating season. And she know he you know acting a fool, and so. He walked on off. He went to look for somebody else to get on. And I seen the mohawk, and my wife pointed that out, and I thought about that. I said, wow, look at what the animal kingdom is telling us about these mohawks. And it's a lot of men with mohawks. They came in style, you know, and right long nasty with it. A lot of them write long, nasty with it. Two I'm thinking of, you know, make over $30 million a year, got a mohawk. And and I'm trying to tell you both of these, both of these young men, nasty with a capital N, with a capital N. You hear me? No, all of the letters are capital, that nasty, with that mohawk. Because, see, this is also, this is what I'm trying to tell you. This is also spiritual. When you alter your body, your hair, remember Samson, that was spiritual. The length of his hair, his strength was in his hair. Delilah cut his hair, and that man lost his strength. The Bible telling you all this spiritual. The Bible do a lot of talking about hair, being a covering, and your strength, your grace. You know, your, it's, it's your strength. That's your covering. It do a lot of talk about it. So I want you to think about these things that we don't oftentimes think about. Think about these things that we don't oftentimes think about. What type of woman get that get that uh, tattoo on her thigh? Tattoo is spiritual, but where you put them at too also matters. That says something too. We have classed, and some of y'all listening, with the thigh tattoos. Some of y'all listening, you listening. Where were you in your life? Who was who you looked up to? Who you saw with it first? Who was your role model? Was it Lil' Kim? Who you saw with it? Think about it. See, we're not thinking about it like this. So when you gather all this information, you're able to evaluate the root and the fruit. And what I was going to say, my son had a, had a mohawk because that was in style. He had a mohawk when he was, I don't know what that was, um, I don't know what grade, first, second. And boy, when I tell you, when he went from the curly fro to the mohawk, it was like we had a different child. That boy went to feeling himself so much. You talking about got slick out the mouth, got rambunctious in the class. We took that mohawk right on away. We let that hair grow right on back out quick. We saw a difference. Because it, it changes you. Your fashion, 
your body ink, your hairstyle, your piercings, your clothing, all of it matters. It's coming from somewhere. It's spiritual. Hey, this is Tony Gaskins. I want you to think about this. Moving your life forward. I don't want you to remain the same. Moving your life forward. I want to have you thinking outside of the box, things you don't think about too often because it just feels normal. Just because it's normal does not mean it's right. Just because it is normal does not mean it is right. Hey, I look forward to connecting with you. If you have any questions for me, send it in to inbox at TonyGaskins.com. Hey, don't forget to join us on GaskinsUniversity.com. GaskinsUniversity.com. If you need some extra courses, an extra push, a powerful team pushing you to the next level of success, visit GaskinsUniversity.com today.